Good afternoon. Welcome to the narrow boat that James built. Hope you're all very well. Well, I didn't get any work done on the boat last night because I was uh, summoned back to London. So I had to uh, go back there, but I also had to pick up some um, certain provisions so uh, it wasn't too bad killed two birds with one stone also it meant I was able to eat food and sit at a sit on a chair at a table and eat so that was rather nice uh, I was able to have a hot bath that was rather that was pleasant um, but it has meant unfortunately that I've done no work on the boat and uh, I've got loads to crack on with. So I've still got to do the bow and everything. So that's why I've been to the shops, just also picked up some more timber. Um, I don't seem to mind going to the shops to pick up timber. I like going to the timber yard. Going to the uh, shops to pick up screws is less fun. Anyway, so I've just turned up back at the marina. Boat yard. And hopefully there is no surprises in store. Well, hopefully there's no bad ones anyway about the boat. There's a man there walking towards it with a toolbox. What's he up to? Not, nothing to do with me. Good, okay, let's see. So there she is. Well, so there was a bit of good news when I got to the boat. So uh, John from the yard comes over and says, oh, James, good news uh, about that stern gland that we're doing. So um, we're going for a Vetus stern gland. Um, so that's what I've been advised to go for. Um, it's the propeller. So it's a new prop shaft to the propeller. Um, propeller, get a new one of those. Um, and it's the, we're getting some new engineered steel um, big kind of um, plates to go either side but the good news is that it's only going to cost a grand so um, happy days so today uh, a bit of a setback I was hoping to be further on than I am really bear in mind the insulation man comes tomorrow morning at nine o'clock and as we are currently recording it is uh, midday uh, on Tuesday um, so I got no work done last night on the boat because I had to go to London. Um, so today I've got a monumental task. It's basically all got to be battened. Um, so the bow, I've got to do that. Um, I learned a few mistakes from yesterday, so hopefully that will go on today a bit quicker. Um, the ceiling or the, the roof, I'm hoping, isn't going to take too, isn't going to be too problematic. I've got to take the insulation out of some of it, um, but not much. The bits which are going to be tricky is underneath the gunnels here. So I've got to take out this this stuff here, this insulation, and there's three there's three loads of it. The bottom bits come out really easily, but these bits here are kind of siliconed in place, and it's that they don't come out easily at all. It all kind of breaks up, and I've got. Uh, 10 meters that way, 10 meters that way, there's three on each one, so that's 30. So I've got 60 meters of that to dig out. I've done some of it down the end there. Um, so I've got to dig that stuff out. The good, the good bits I'm going to keep and put underneath the subfloor on top of the bricks, just as a ballast, uh, just on top of the ballast, um, just to give a bit of insulation and I might as well keep them on if they're, if they're in good enough condition. The stuff on the ceiling should come off quite easily. That's Celatex and it looks fairly recent, so that should be easier. Um, but I've got enough timber on board to hopefully finish all the battening. If I don't, the last place I can go is six o'clock today to get it. So it means leaving here at about five-ish, which is four hours time. So by then, hopefully the bow will be done. The uh, And I'll have worked out what I've got to do timber-wise but it's gonna be a case of moving everything around the boat again, um, which so I've been trying to work out in my head how to logistically do this in the quickest way possible. Um, and I've, when I got back to London, I managed to retrieve two ends of um, one of my kids' cots. 
So I'm using them as um, temporary floorboards. Um, so not having any floor is impossible doing all of this. So um, having a bit, a bit more floor helps. So um, I'm going to crack on. So there we have it, the starboard hull upper battening has gone in, not quite the same as the uh, port side, um, but okay, let me turn that light off, so not quite the same, the main difference being at the end. So. This is using, this is on the same diagonal as the pattern, but that caused me a bit of problem with doing that joint there at the top. So um, that's just a support just to keep it in place. So, um, and I wanted to keep it a bit of a gap so I could access the nav lights at the front. So I did the same on this. It doesn't look quite as tidy, and I've still got to put on that piece which goes from there down to here to basically clamps that, that piece there against this but I've done this square against that probably can't quite tell from here as opposed to in line with this because that's on the that's on the angle so doesn't look quite right to the eye you can see that the angle is probably off well if you've got the eye you could probably see the angle is off but importantly most importantly Got the curve at the top on the runner at the top, and it needs to come up a little bit on that side. So it's in line with the other one. I'll move it up to there. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I think once the end is been battered, it will make a lot more sense. So that's it, the fowl's done. Well, top bits are. Just got to finish off that piece there, but that I've got to attach somehow to the bulkhead, so I've still got to work on that. But uh, this afternoon, that's going to be the plan, is just to do the bulkhead. Never done one before, so I've got to work out how best to do that, where to affix it and bits and pieces like that. And then once I've done that, I'll be able to finish this bit here and do the same on that bulkhead on this side of the same bulkhead, shall I say. And then line the ceiling or batten the ceiling all the way down the boat, take the insulation out and then batten below the gunnels all the way around the boat. And then finish up doing the last two, which will be the uh, the bulkheads at the back. So I've got to do all of that before nine o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, before Wednesday morning, and it is now um, about, or well, looking at the light, it's probably about half four, something like that, maybe four o'clock. So uh, yeah, still quite a lot to go. Uh, so I'll keep you posted as to how I'm getting on. Hope everyone's well, bye bye.